Hi, my name is Robert Satsik. I wanted to introduce myself into a project that's in the works called Wicked Flower. This is an animated short and one in which Realusion's character creator and iClone have become important parts of the workflow and pipeline, especially for someone like me who doesn't have prior experience with 3D animation. In terms of my background, I'm an independent filmmaker who's written and directed three features. The first film, After the Flood, was actually shot in 35mm film using short ends. My second film, Wider Winter, was an official selection to the 2003 Sundance Film Festival. And finally, Godspeed, co-written with Corey Knopf, also one of the lead actors and producers, won a special jury award at the 2009 Cinevegas Film Festival. It's hard to believe it's been more than a decade since the last feature, but like many indie filmmakers, it's uh, never been easy to finance uh, projects. And in many ways, it's probably gotten a little harder. But then a friend introduced me to uh, what Neil Blomkamp had done with the Atom series using the Unity game engine, and I was kind of blown away. I was impressed with what a small team, albeit a very skilled and talented team, could do along with the quality of those shorts. I really saw the potential of working within a game engine to tell stories, and this started my journey to 3D animation and using Character Creator and iClone. As the pandemic hit, uh, the ability to make films and tell stories seemed even further away. So the prospect of making a film or some kind of project using 3D animation became very appealing. And part of what made it so appealing was the fact that it looked like you could do so much of the work on your own, especially using software from Real Illusion. One of the projects I wasn't able to get financed was a low budget feature film called Wicked Flower. Even so, uh, a lot of the themes and the story just continued to resonate with me. But I also knew that transforming it into a short story would be a much easier way to make it into a 3D animated project. Essentially, Wicked Flower is a thriller with some sci-fi elements thrown in. And it's sort of a dreamlike journey through one woman's mind who may or may not have been a victim of a deadly attack. So I think like a lot of people, Love, Death and Robots uh, including Unit Image's stunning work on the first season with their short Beyond the Kilo Rift was hugely inspirational. And from that, I felt you know really inspired to make a proof of concept demo. And that's when I first started using Character Creator 3 and iClone 7 to create obviously all the characters and to start working on animation. I had already started working with Unreal Engine at the time and felt like this was just gonna give me the look and feel that I felt would be best for this project. Even though I did use Maya's action to create as best I could strand-based hair grooms for my characters and Substance Painter to help modify some of the clothing, Real Illusion software kept working those apps to minimum. Again, for someone who doesn't have a background or any training in character modeling, rigging, or animation, you know, I don't think there's any way I would have been able to do this or feel good about the results without the help of Real Illusion software. So one really interesting thing and a new way for me to work was sort of just using the animation to test scenes to try different scenarios out. In a way, sort of writing the script by working the animation. They were sort of like living storyboards, even more fleshed out storyboards. And yeah, more fleshed out than, than previous would be. I would sort of go as far as I could go to make the renders as good as I could get with the system I had. Could I make this thing? Could these scenes really work emotionally for me? But ultimately it was like writing with animation. It's a very, interesting way to work and one that I, I want to continue doing. In between completing the demo and the latest releases of Character Creator and iClone, I actually started working with Unreal's MetaHumans and kind of fell in love with these new iterations of, of my characters. But the new features in Character Creator 4 have taken these new characters to a whole other level. With the ability to add full body and face textures from CC4 and apply to your metahuman, including importing new dynamic wrinkles, the characters can achieve an amazing level of expressiveness, so crucial to really engaging an audience with your 3D humans. Here, you can see how much more expression we can get when the character creator 4 textures are added to the metahuman character. And now, adding elements such as scars and tattoos has become so much easier thanks to this new feature. This just increases the customization and quality of your metahuman characters, saving time from having to work in other apps such as Substance Painter to achieve similar results. 
That being said, I love how Revolution isn't just a closed system. It obviously allows you to work with Unreal, Unity, Zebra, Substance, just gives you maximum flexibility with your workflow. Before bringing in actors and mocap and sort of going all out, obviously with time and money, it's also great to use iClone 8 to bring the characters in to these new environments and see how they play and work. And I think iClone 8 has been amazing to allow me to even use something as complex as the Matrix City to sort of see if it'll even work. Using the Unreal Live Link, Data Link, and Timecode Sync features, I've been able to quickly and with greater accuracy and quality than before, test some animation and camera positions, including within one of the more complicated Unreal environments as we talked about, the city sample. With Data Link, I'm able to import specific landmarks from the Unreal project to help guide the animation, even from something as complex as a city sample project. The new timecode sync using Unreal's Take Recorder has made recording frame accurate quality animation so much easier, allowing me to even avoid the sometimes difficult and time consuming task of retargeting to a metahuman skeleton by using iClone's metahuman dummies to link to the metahuman character in Unreal Engine. You know, coming to all of this as a more traditional filmmaker, it was a little intimidating at first, but Real Illusions Tools and Unreal's ability to create stunning environments and cinematics has absolutely empowered me as a storyteller. Working in this world is not only exciting, but I also feel like I'm learning skills uh, for the next stage of filmmaking in general. I think as we see virtual production and virtual environments being used more and more in filmmaking, it's no secret that I think we're gonna be using a lot more of this technology. In the end, even though I love the technical aspects of what I do and love learning new software and techniques, I'm a creator and I just want to tell stories and any tool that gets me a great end result faster and with a lot less pain is ultimately the most important thing. And that's why I know Real Illusion is going to be part of my workflow and pipeline for a long time to come.